I'm doing another story time. I'm on the floor again. I've written out notes again. But I'm pretty sure similar to last time I'm going to forget my notes entirely and just wing it. We'll see how it goes. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison Page and let's just jump into the video. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a story time on my first Pride experience. I also have some exciting announcements which I will be putting at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I am also announcing the giveaway winner. The winner already knows who they are because I messaged them today before I filmed this, just in case they like backed out at the last minute and then I'd have to extend the giveaway even longer but they didn't they're super excited so i will announce who they are to you guys a bit later so i've done a few lgbtq plus whatever type videos on this channel my first was my coming out the second was the bisexual tag and now this as i mentioned in my bisexual tag um there's not really a LGBTQ plus community where i currently live which is my hometown there are obviously LGBTQ plus people hi um but not really like a whole community we don't really do pride events um you have to search high and low to find like a group of some kind but last year when i lived in wellington you couldn't walk five seconds down the street without seeing like a drag queen or a same-sex couple holding hands and it was just the greatest thing ever so last year i had the pleasure of going to my first pride event now I do want to preface this by saying some people in my family got upset that I went to Pride because Pride actually fell on a family engagement which I had to miss because I was working and while I was at Pride I was still working. It was like a work trip, sort of. I was working on my music video assignment on that particular weekend. I went to Pride like literally for the sole purpose of getting footage for my music video. I'm not the kind of person who like, even though it would have been my first Pride, if I hadn't been working on a music video, I would have come home and gone to the family event because like, I'm not a shit person. I just want to preface off by saying in case any members of my family are watching this, I was at Pride for work. Not fun, I mean I had fun as well, but it was more to get footage for my music video. But yeah, anyway, the Pride event in Wellington is, it's kind of always Pride in Wellington to be honest. There's rainbow shit everywhere. They just introduced a new rainbow crosswalk. The streetlights are drag queens. I miss Wellington. <laughs> um, but no, the specific Pride event, it starts in, does it start in the morning? Oh, I can't remember shit at all. I think it starts in the morning or like mid-morning-ish and it starts off with a march just around Wellington. I didn't do that because I quite enjoy living sometimes and um, if I dragged my unhealthy ass around Wellington I would have died. So I didn't do that. I spent the morning working on the footage that I had for my music video and then at around two o'clock I went down to this park that's along the waterfront it has a name that i cannot remember but i went on down there with my camera people always dress up for pride i unfortunately this was before i had my entire rainbow get up which i will insert a picture of here so all i had was a rainbow ish tie-dye shirt which i got from my first my first vlog actually i got it during that so i put that up there a rainbow hawaiian lei and then a green tutu and some green fairy wings that i'd gotten for um saint patrick's day i go hard any and every occasion so i was wearing that i had a friend who was wearing a banana suit so that was dope it's funny me and my friends all went because at the time we were all at the film school we all left school one afternoon and went shopping for rainbow stuff i don't know why i didn't have luck i as i've said there's like rainbow shit everywhere but all i could find was the damn lay my banana suit friend andy he had some he already had some like rainbow glasses i think or maybe he bought i don't know something um but he had some rainbow glasses and like a rainbow necktie or ribbon or something that he tied around his banana head and my friend Kirsty had something else I don't remember anyway 
Getting off topic, so I was a half rainbow, half green mess, but I went anyway. And while it wasn't like, it wasn't huge, like it's not what, like you see America's pride parade things being. I still really enjoyed myself. There were food stalls and there were like clothing stands and stuff with like buy pride or uh, trans pride or just general rainbow shit. I bought a mini flag and some bunting which I seen briefly in my um, house tour from my house last year which I will also put up there. There were people with like photo frames. They were like just cardboard frames with like the word by pride by ally and then like painted all crazy colors and i have a photo of myself and andy and one of them which i'll put here uh there was a stand for prevent hiv that's there's a, they have a specific name there's like a group in wellington and they're quite big i see their posters and their stickers everywhere they had a whole stand to themselves and they were like selling stuff and all the proceeds would go to the Thing. And then at the very end of the park, there was this big stage. They had uh, people of the drag community performing. I have some videos of it, but they're not great because I was I was sitting really far away. It's just taken on my phone. It's it's not the footage from the music video, but it's still footage. So I will insert some clips of it now. some of the clips you'll see dogs running around there was also like a dog thingy that was happening that day as well it was like at the same park like after pride or like during pride or something they were doing like a dog contest or something i can't remember but it was something to do with dogs so there were a lot of dogs there unfortunately i didn't stay for the dog thing because i literally i literally just got like the footage that i needed for my music video which was like some footage of me some footage of like the stage and stuff i can't show you it because my music video is an in-house like thing so you i have it but it's like literally only to show my family and stuff we were we're not allowed to like put it on the internet and stuff like that so i can't show you but for what it was for like my first assignment it was pretty decent I think the day was pretty fun like it was it was short but it was fun I got to hang out with my friends got to watch some pretty dope drag queen and king performances one of the drag kings groups I think was there was it a whole group or was it just two of them I don't know but you would have seen the clip they sung a Westlife song and it's <laughs> Westlife was my mm, boy bands in general were my everything in my childhood um now i've switched to girl bands so but yeah when they sung that song i was like freaking the fuck out <laughs> i bought some stuff started my rainbow collection i still need to get like a full-sized flag or something i was gonna get one to put in the back of here because i mean one none of y'all have been very nice and not commented on my walls except for one person but um you know uh, I didn't do that <laughs> just mainly because I mainly because I already have a tapestry sitting in storage with the rest of my stuff um, 
and I don't I don't like when I eventually move out of here I don't want to have two tapestries because if I go into like a flatting situation or something all my shit has to be in my room and where the fuck am I gonna put two tapestries in one room what you gonna do but I do still need to get like a full-sized flag but yeah that's kind of it for my per my first pride experience I did really enjoy it I think a lot of the fun was had on the march I do remember seeing lots of photos and videos of like the community just coming together and like marching together and having fun but as I said I probably would have died not actually but like it would not have been a fun time for me while being with my community would have been fun I would have been short of breath and like gasping for air and just not not living my best life and I'm not about that so yeah while a lot of the fun seemed to be on the march I couldn't do that so I just had to work with what I got um, which was just the actual, you know, fair festivities thing. Um, I could only be there for a few hours. But I made the most of that shit. I do eventually plan on living in Wellington again one day. And maybe I'll just fucking take an inhaler with me and go on the march. I don't know, I'm not asthmatic, but maybe an inhaler will help. That was my first pride. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed me telling the story. Now for the announcements. First off, I want to announce my giveaway winner. While a lot of people actually entered the giveaway, there was only one Kiwi who entered the giveaway. And as you know, it was a national giveaway, so it could only go to this one Kiwi. So I didn't actually need Kirsty to pick the winner for me because it, it was just them. So um, I will put their comment either over my face or up here. So congratulations to you, I will be sending that stuff very shortly. As for the other people who entered the giveaway, I didn't want to disappoint you, so I kind of impulsively did a thing. I created merch. So I recreated the shirt, which I'll put here. Uh, I'm not super sure of what the quality will be like because I literally just scanned the image into the computer put like a cartoon of actually I put many cartoon effects on it to get the one that I was envisioning in my head because I'm not a graphic designer so I kind of just fucked around until I got the look that I was wanting and then put it on a shirt so I don't know what that's gonna look like I also recreated the back of the notebook you know my um M logo design which my mother never realized it was an m she was looking at it the other day and she's just like why are the hands upside down because it's an m mother what but anyway i put that on a shirt too so there's that one i'm pretty sure that one will look pretty dope because that the logo was created by a computer rather than my drawing scanned into a computer so yeah if you want to go buy those those are down below i know you have to buy them, but I, I, I need money too, you know. I bought them both myself. <laughs> I spent full price on them, yep. After adding shipping and converting US dollars to New Zealand dollars, it was not a fun time. I spent, I spent much money <laughs> on my own merch and I will never get over that. But if you guys want to wait until, you know, I've got them and I can show you the quality on on camera that's cool if you want to buy them now it's even cooler if you don't want to buy them at all i understand i'm i'm just little old me and i mean whatever <laughs> but i did make those for you guys if you wanted them and yeah the link will be down below i couldn't wait to get the shirt so i made a second one um as you can see it's not the same as the original one consistency is not my strong suit but yeah this is kind of what you'd be getting and then the other one is yellow with my logo on it both shirts have um my name and the number 500 on the back they range from sizes small to 3xl and i put faster shipping on them so you know but yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty pumped about that i know it is a little weird to make merch when you only have 500 subscribers but because most of the people entering the giveaway were internationals that I 
just can't afford to ship to right now. I thought this was a pretty good uh, compromise sort of thing. So I really hope you guys enjoy them if you buy them. If you don't, again, it's totally cool. I get it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. App. Comment down below your first Pride experience if you have ever been to a Pride parade festival thingy magoo and comment down below if you're buying a shirt. Again, don't feel like you have to but the option is there. Subscribe if you haven't already, tap the bell notification thingy to be notified every time I post and I will see you next time. Bye!